Blinds at 10 and 20,000 with a $2,000 ante. Will under the gun. Action's gonna be on Will Molson in first position. He's gonna raise to 57,000. Well, he's finally gonna get active. This isn't exactly a strong hand, but when you're short-handed with just four players five. left. And when you've been staring in at uh, as many napkins as Will has. Right, you gotta get in there and gamble a little bit. So he looks at the one ace and says, I gotta steal the blind. It's gonna be tough to steal the big blind of Elki Rospelier. Especially with a suited, suited. connector. <laughs> you know. Well, this is, uh, you know, people might think, well, what's he thinking about? He's got three high, but he's got a connected hand. It's suited. He's obviously not thinking he has the best hand, but he's getting a price. He figures, well, maybe I'll hit a big flop and, and win myself a big pot. Wow, and you see Will there not happy about being called. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, this dear. could be dangerous. Molson's flopped his ace, but as you can see, Elkie's flopped three threes. He checks. Now, Will's got to feel like he's got the best hand here, but the thing about this kind of a board is if, if Elkie well. was to call him if he were to bet, you got to figure, huh, I don't know if my kicker's any good. The king of hearts. Now the Eight king of hearts three, on the turn three, changes that up. Absolutely, because now Will first. Molson can be safe against a hand like ace-jack or ace-ten. It would be a split pot, and Elkie's going to go ahead and bet his hand right now. And you would assume that Will Molson's got to feel like, hey, man, I got aces and threes with a king now. Elkie, he's an aggressive player. He could be on a complete bluff. But one of the dilemmas that Will is facing here is he senses that he can only call to split it here, right? Well, you know, that's a possibility, but, you know, we're talking about Elkie. Elkie's an aggressive player. Elkie could have 7-8. Elkie could have anything in this kind of a situation, so. And just be trying to take control sure. of the pot based on the fact that Will checked. I think folding check. an ace in this spot against a guy like Elkie is a little bit on the weak side, because Elkie doesn't have to have the three here. So. All right, 88,000 apiece. He does make the call. Play. It's a 10 of spades. Well, the river's a 10, that changes nothing. Elkie's still got the best hand, and now it's time to figure out how much can I get from Mr. Molson? How much is he willing to pay to see my three threes? Over 300,000 in this pot. Question is, how greedy will Elkie get here? And will, Mil Mo will Molson pay him off? He's doing a lot of thinking here. He's certainly not thinking he's beat. He's thinking now. How much should Elkie I bet? 400,000. Wow. So he's going for the overbet, really hoping that his opponent, Will Molson, has a hand like ace-king or maybe even ace-ten and is going to make the call. Might now, be a little bit greedy. Now, what goes through your head? What goes through your head when you're faced with a huge overbet like that? Well, I mean, the problem with such a big bet is it's so significant to your stack, so it's difficult to call. It puts you in sort of the meat grinder, if you will. Uh, it just makes it so much tougher. I, I think Elki here made a little bit of a misstep. I think maybe a bet of 150,000 gets called quickly. But 400,000, he might have been a little bit too greedy in this spot. Doesn't the simple logic tell us that a big overbet is a bluff more often than not? Well, no, the you'd think logic. so. You'd think so, but with good players in spots like this, what could he really be bluffing with? You know, to bet the turn and bet the river. Uh, I think Will Molson might actually get away because of the bet size in this situation. I think if you ask Elke, he's going to say, you know what, I wish I bet 150 now. <laughs> 400 looks more like, to me in this kind of a situation, the way the hand was played, of a maximum value bet. And I think Will Molson is, trying to, is start, starting to figure that out. He's thinking, well, what could Elke have that I can beat here? Only thing I can really beat is maybe if Elke has two hearts in his hand, something like five, six of hearts where he picked up a flush draw and missed. Could be Queen Jack, That's too. Cool. Well, that would beat him. So he's going to throw the hand away. It's a good lay down. He shows the ace, and now Elkie's got to smack himself in the head and say, dang it, what did I do? Why 400,000? Let him get away there. 